Yeah, it is. Okay, it's good for this guy. I don't know, it's just a small mouth. It's still like a small one. Yeah, it is. He's definitely a keeper. What do you think? Pretty sucker, ain't it? Sure is. Really pretty. Oh, I cast it out in front of it. Like a couple feet short of it and just let it fall. And you know it didn't fall straight down. So. Yeah. Hmm. It looked like some deep rocky stuff. And he, the water he was fishing was like dirt. Yeah, no, I still do it. <laughs> I think I heard a pro talk about drop shots. Okay. It's a big one. About the same size. Yeah. Good size. Might be a little bit bigger. Yeah, about the same size. Yeah, he's heavier. Oh, yeah, he's thick as crap. It's a nice spot of bass. Look at his throw. Is there anything showing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a lark. Is that? That's, that's a spot of bass. No, it's not. Oh, Lord. <laughs> large mouth. That's what we need. A little fat large mouth. Because you can just watch your line and it just goes, you know. Whoa! Look at that. You see that flash? Dude, they looked huge. If you would have lost that fish on the first flash, you would have thought it was a six pounder. Yeah, maybe you come up from like this, straight from the bottom. Came up five, ten feet to get that. Thanks, buddy. Cheese. I got a semi-final thing. There's the dope wall of fishing tackle. What we're gonna catch fish on tomorrow? Whatever. We just got done fishing today and we're getting some gas, getting ready to go check in to our place. I don't even know. A, a motel room. Old Musty. Old, old Musty. Old Musty. Then we're gonna go to a weigh in and then go to our registration. So. We got to the lake at like 7.30, 7.40 started fishing and we didn't really catch much until later in the day and I caught three keepers? Yeah, four. Four keepers? Yeah. I caught four keepers on this new shadow wrap that I bought yesterday. It's deep, deeper diving. It's like an olive color. It's pretty cool. And then I caught a pretty nice smallmouth just on a shaky head and a river bug. So we found an area that we think we're going to do pretty good tomorrow. So we're going to try it, see how we can do there. There's been tournaments going on all weekend and today. There's two tournaments today, I think, so. Fishing's tough. It is pretty tough, a but. pressure on the water. There's a lot of people fishing. The water's really clear, but it just seems like they're relating to timber, but not right against timber so I think that's going to be the deal is just us fishing around timber the whole time so jerkbait and crawfish imitations is about what we figured out so far well we're uh, sitting here waiting to get checked into our place and then we're going to go to 
a weigh in for a tournament, see how everybody did, and then we're gonna go to registration and then maybe go buy some lures later, I hope. You could go to Branson Landon, Bass Pro Shops? Maybe go to Bass Pro Shops, so. Maybe, if we're lucky. Yeah, if we're lucky, so. All right, we have a meeting at seven o'clock, so I have to be late, so. Room 11, up this mountain. There's light. Look how clear it is. Holy smokes. Okay, yep, room 11. Holy cow. 15, 16, 17, 18. You kidding there's, me? There's no 11. <laughs> there's no 11. Okay. Got a couch, microwave. Oh yeah. Little bathroom. Big old bed, two little beds. Yeah, she's a little musty. <laughs> she is a little musty. This, this door is going to stay open for a while. Premium coffee right here. Oh. Watch the news before we go fishing in the morning. We got some. We got even a free redneck Yeti. <laughs> like those. Oh, that's my favorite. Toaster, in case we want to end our suffering. Alright, we got everything put into our rooms. Rods. Rods. Cooler. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm done. Now we're headed to the BFLT. I don't know what it is. TBF weigh in. Day. And uh, they, today they just wouldn't bite. Well, if they don't bite, you can't catch them. That's the name of that game. 28 pounds and 10 ounces. Tw About 20 minutes left, I, I lost a giant. It's about a four and a half pounder uh, wrapping around a dock post. And I, I wanted to get him in. It was real close. Would have put me over that edge. I needed like 14 pounds, I figured. And that would have been it. So, I don't know. It was, it was a tough, <laughs> it was a long week. I did uh, the best I possibly could. Just today, I came one up short. Well. We'll see how it stands out. Right now, you got 35 pounds and five ounces. You are in the lead for now. We've got a few more anglers to go. We'll be our first repeat living the dream angler. If he can do it, two time. From now on, if he wins this tournament, it'll be two time national champion Alan Boyd. We'll see if he can do it. And here we go. Alan has 38 pounds and 10 ounces. Ty, you have 32 pounds, seven ounces. Alan Boy, your national champion right there. Alan, take that hardware out front and show it off. He knows what it's all about. All right, so what this was was us uh, going to the TBF National Championship weigh-in. Uh, it was a three-day tournament. Uh, ended the day before ours, so we thought we might as well go see what those guys were doing. Uh, most of them had smallmouth and spotted bass. Uh, a couple of them had largemouth, and you see the winner there had two largemouth. Um, he was showing up. It took 38 pounds to win three days, so I mean, you know, nothing huge, but uh, he was catching fish. He was pr doing pretty good. Uh, for this tournament, uh, TBF supplied these anglers with uh, new Ranger tournament boats, so it was uh, pretty cool that they got to use those so here's a video of me looking around at the boat it's pretty sweet though that motor's pretty awesome rigged up with an hds12 it's kind of awesome got hds9 on the front pretty dope pretty dope i know what's this place called oh you you can go Artis. Artis. Artis family restaurant. Thank you, sir. One slice yeah, of these pizza. are the plates we get. <laughs> One slice of pizza. That big old pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Dollar General because Cold didn't know how to grab another life jacket. Look, perfect for you. Is that what you're going to wear tomorrow? That's, that's what you're going to wear tomorrow cheapest piece of crap we can because somebody can't remember this stuff. 
I want to be cut tomorrow. You have to shave this off? I see. You get a baby face? <laughs> Why don't you grow out a nice beard like your dad? Nice goatee? You won't let me. I'm growing up too fast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any more blood. <laughs> We're getting the goods today. Yeah, he'll spend money on glue, but not for my ass. Cool. Wait, look at me. Raccoon. <laughs> Raccoon. It's bad. Right, it? It's bad. It's bad, dude. You have to go find the life jacket. Still. About to save the manhood off your face? <laughs> Guess so. Those are pretty nice razors. I only got one blade on them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be screwed. <laughs> Not using that one. <laughs> <laughs> this place pretty nasty, isn't it? We better get this. <laughs> Can't brighten this itself, okay? Dalton Pierce just had me on Snapchat. <laughs> yeah, me too. Kind of product tomorrow, anytime during the event, from the time you launch until you weigh your fish. If your anglers would like to use the trolling motor and let, and they want to run the trolling motor, they're perfectly welcome to. Last stop today. Oh shoot. Huh? Maybe last stop. Maybe. If we can find some life jackets today, last stop. Right? I might go to Bass Pro. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite Din Disney princess and why? Is that a tough decision? Cin Cinderella, dude. She's like the OG. Everyone knows who Cinderella is. She's like who made Are you playing Disney. popular? She, no, she's like who made you... it. Disney princesses wouldn't be anything without Cinderella. Whoa. That's kind of Rod's Beneath right there. Uh -oh. We need to put one of these on the front deck of our boat. Oh, can we? <laughs> we the dock demon. We can put that on our boat. Finally found one. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Some 20 pound braid on a spinning rod. I've had the same line on this spinning rod for two years. Dude, the so braid lasts forever. It's long overdue. Braid lasts like 1800 years. Got some shaky heads and some little finesse worms. A bunch of donuts and crab. Allergy medicine, the medicine that you need to take. Yeah, it's and it's 30 pound braid. Yeah. All right, I'm currently getting all my spin rods hooked up with some eight pound fluorocarbon, um, putting them on the braid leaders. So uh, I've got two down, one more to go. So just getting tackle ready and uh, we'll be ready for tomorrow.